What's going on YouTube? Jack is here bringing you guys another video today and what it's going to be is episode 6 to our NBA 2K16 My Gym series with the Chicago Bulls and uh, I think this is probably the third time I've tried to record this video. Uh, the first time I tried to record it was against the Warriors here. We uh, lost by 19 points and it really sucks because well one we lost by 19 points and two both of my uh, Warriors games messed up. I don't really remember if it was the audio or if it was uh, the video or what it was. But um, hopefully nothing, nothing, I don't know what I just tried to say. Nothing like that will happen again because uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet. I built a computer and uh, I, I, don't, I honestly don't know if it's like really good or not. But so far it's a lot better than my other one. So... Hopefully I don't have those problems anymore. And uh, then a couple days ago I recorded this one versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. But uh, whenever I went to edit it, I actually just went to edit it. And the uh, game volume is way too loud. And on this computer I'm able to record my audio with the game volume like in one audio track, in one, one file. So... Uh, I don't have like the ability or at least as far as I know I don't have the ability to uh, turn down the game volume so I figured out I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scrap that one and I'll come out with another game I honestly have no idea what it's gonna be yet but uh, this one we lost 103 to 92 um, it was really close until like the last minute is whenever they pulled away they finished the game on like a 10-2 run or something. I don't know what it was. Something stupid. I don't know. I got blocked with Pagasol going for a dunk from uh, Kevin Love. I was going to dunk on him. I got a nice turn in the post and went to dunk and he blocked me. And then, I don't know. You guys would know if you saw it, but you didn't. So you just got to take my word. It, w it was pretty stupid. But uh, Jimmy Butler went off again. Aaron Brooks actually played pretty well. In uh, Derrick Rose's absence, did I mention? I don't know. I just tried to record this, but I got interrupted, so I had to do it again. Derrick Rose is injured. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned that. So this is a shocker. Um, he's out six to eight weeks with a high left ankle sprain. And uh, now I don't even know if I showed this stats. Okay, if I did, I'm very sorry. I'm all over the place right now. But Jimmy Butler went off. No one else did. Uh, Aaron Brooks actually did really bad. And then with the Warriors here, uh, Clay Thompson went off again with Draymond Green. You know, they don't miss. And then now they actually had the addition of Stephen Curry, and that didn't uh, fare well for us. Bogut didn't have the extraordinary game like he did uh, last time, but it was still still enough for us to lose by 19. I just don't even think that game was close as I look at the uh, box score there. But this one, uh, LeBron James, 34-7-7. Yep, that's basically all. I mean, Pagasol have five blocks, but I, I don't know what it was, if I'm being honest. I mean, we had more free throws. We hit more threes. They just hit more shots than us. Uh, 16 more points in the paint. 10 second chance points. So, yeah, they killed us on the glass by 15 rebounds. And then, uh, I, I believe they don't have the points off turnovers. We had something like... We had 11 turnovers, they had 14, but we had something like 25 points off turnovers, so like 8 for them or something. I don't know what it was, but like that's what really kept us in the game. That and we hit 5 more threes than them, but I don't know. Uh, it's kind of weird, it says 48 seconds, 47 seconds time of possession, but uh, it sucks because that's the second game versus the Cavaliers we have lost. So, we're 0 2 against them, but we got a game coming up here on the 18th of February, and then we have one more at home. So, I th that was our that was our road game. Yeah. So, that was our first road game. Next one's a road game. Um, I'm not sure what game I'm going to play, so it'll be a surprise. Uh, I might play the Heat, maybe the Lakers. I don't think really the Lakers. It'd only be because Kobe's on there, but it's not. I, I don't know if he's gonna retire this season on the game. Uh, 
could be the Clippers, or I might just go into the All-Star break. I don't know. If I don't, let me know if you guys want to see anything from the All-Star break, like only if I have a player in it or something, or do you guys still want to see like the three-point uh, contest and the dunk contest or something. And uh, also, I talked about some trades. I went through and I looked for some trades for all of our uh, power forwards here. Because we have to get rid of one, but I don't. I don't remember. I, I won't search. There we go. I don't remember which ones were good. I found a couple that were good. Um, I believe. I believe there was one for Pau Gasol. Actually, I'm almost positive there was one for Pau Gasol. Because I, I had like a trade set up. It'd be two trades. Uh, that one. Okay. I don't know if I've seen that one. But, yeah, we can get Kevin Love. That was an option. I don't know if I'd really want to do that, though, getting rid of our two starting big men. Um, we can get Chris Bosh, but we, again, have to get rid of our two starting big men. Uh, we can get Rondo and Willie Cauley-Stein for Pau Gasol and Kirk Heinrich. That's a trade to look at. Um, I think one the, the trade that really... Or that that one's not too bad. Dwight Howard and Clint Capella, but they they actually added changed this one. It was just Pau Gasol straight up for Andrew Wiggins, but I'd still be willing to do this with the talent that Wiggins is gonna be. That he could be the small forward we're looking for. So we we get rid of Pau Gasol and Tony Snell. We get Tyus Jones, a young point guard. He's a rookie, and Andrew Wiggins in his second year. And then uh. There was something Noah is going to go somewhere else next season, he tells us. So we can get something out of him right now, and that would be this here, although this trade is a little different too, I believe. Uh, I'll have to look back at the footage to find out exactly what the trades are, um, but I've got Joe Kim, Noah, and Taj Gibson for DeAndre Jordan and Brandon Dawson. That one might actually not be different. I don't know. But I'll, I'll look at that, and I'll let you guys know. All right, guys. So the trade originally, the Joe Kim, Noah trade for DeAndre Jordan, was uh, DeAndre Jordan and Brandon Dawson, which I believe stayed the same on their end, but it was Joe Kim, Noah, and uh, Mike Dunleavy instead of Taj Gibson. Uh, this trade here, we can get Pau Gasol and Taj Gibson for Blake Griffin and uh, Luke Mba Umute, which, so you know, we can get a good player in Blake Griffin there. Um, also, this here, uh, that would get us our three 80s, but we'd be getting rid of Noah and getting Rudy Gobert, and then Pau Gasol would be going away. We'd keep Taj Gibson and then upgrade the small forward position with Gordon Hayward. So there is a lot of... Uh, offers to look at but mainly I would look at like maybe a Dwight Howard trade uh, that's not too bad uh, here's the the Wiggins trade is one that I really would like to see pass I don't know I'm not, I'm not a huge guy on like trades whenever it comes to my favorite team but we have to trade something so that would be one we could look at Kevin Love Blake Griffin like I said and the Jazz trade and uh, I'll just quickly see about Gibson and Miritich, and I'll tell you guys if I find any here. All right, guys, let me know which one of those trades you would like to see. Uh, I mainly would like to upgrade the small forward position if we're getting rid of one of the power forwards. Uh, there was nothing along the lines of Taj Gibson and the Nikola Miritich trades. They're just uh, solely them players that really stuck out to me. That would be worth getting rid of one of those guys. Um, but I would like to get rid of a power forward and upgrade the small forward position and then probably swap no out for another center. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I decide I'm, I'm going to play the Heat. And then the next episode will be uh, All-Star Weekend if you guys want to see that or it will just go right to the uh, next Cavaliers game. So let me know what trade you want me to do or trades and then let me know um, if you guys want to see anything from the all-star break and also like obviously if there's any other players you think i should trade let me know and we'll get them out of here but i'm gonna go ahead and get into this heat game and i'll see you guys then
check out who's on the floor courtesy of Gabriel. We beat him. We beat him. On the court for the Heat. Aaron Brooks, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, Aaron Brooks off to a great start. Here's Brooks. Drops in the breakaway layup. Brooks has got his second basket. Let's do this. Brooks outside. Hey, let's go, Aaron Brooks. Baby, that's what I'm talking about. Here's Wade coming off a stellar performance against Toronto. He's off to a uh, pretty good start, I'd say. Brooks kicks it to Noah. And it hey, I don't know what Bosch was doing there, but I'll take it. The field goal percentage even more. They are a huge edge in that category. And that's because that they've was been hype, playing dude. smart basketball. I mean, they don't just say that all the time. You want to play downhill. Well, at some point, you think somebody's got to cool hey. off in this one, right? Why did I just lay that in? That could have been pretty good dunk Brooks. there. So that's my bad, boys. My bad, my bad. Could have got you guys a highlight. Taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for Chicago. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals on, in the man. early going. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Taj Gibson's checked in for Noah. Portis comes in for Pau Gasol. Miritich has checked on. in for Tony Snell. And it's Heinrich in for Aaron Brooks. Oh, good block. It's tipped. I uh, forgot to tell you guys I'm playing with uh, Three -pointer, Heinrich. the shot different Miami the other way. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. To Different. Season, said he felt nice. By the um, office, which sliders. Him wanting out of Phoenix and so, yeah, hopefully they will call more fouls. Ooh. Hey. Backdoor cut. That's all I'm talking about. Give and go. And Clark now's the time. Miracic grabs the miss. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better. Hey, let's go. Run the floor. I wanted to give that to Ty Gibson, but I hit the wrong button. And Bobby Porter was there, too, so it was all right. What a start. Couldn't react in time to stop that quick reverse. Here's Hey, let's go, Miritich. That was a nice cross over there. Most years, he could have walked away with that award. Oh, baby. Let's go, Miritic. One minute has passed here in the second. Stoudemire, right side. Can we not play? Like, what just made Noah run that far? Holy cow, we're choking hard. We just got to get out of this quarter. Tang against Butler. Ooh, baby, that's what I'm talking about, Jimmy Butler. And you know, that's an example of how many plays we have in a game. It could go. It's a joke, dude. Like, I don't understand how Tyler Johnson just standing there not even bumping Jimmy Butler makes him, like, stop. But, and then we hit that shot. I'll take it, though. I'm perfectly fine with that. And we're through. Gasol is screen on Dragic. Brooks kicks to Gasol. For three. Don Levy, you gotta nail that, baby. Let's go. Good shot. And good Pamafan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for Come on! Yo! Can we on the wing, green? Like bro, every I I say this every time they get a steal. Every strip is clean. And, dude, that right there is just the definition of 2K screw me over. Every time, like, Gibson and Bobby Portis play together, Gibson's always this uh, center. And I want it to be the other way. But whenever I actually want to pass it to Gibson... He guess what? He's the power forward like I would want it to be, but so used to it being the other way. Hey, Bobby Portis, let's go, man. Alright, guys, we're going to give Nico a chance here to bang in this. Those of you here. Oh, Hoo-hoo! Baby, give it to him. That's what I'm talking about, Nico.
just five on the clock. Knocked away. Oh, come on, man. Every time, like, I would show you guys if they got a reaching foul, but they haven't, so I can't show you. All I show you is them getting steals. Holy cow, I don't even know if I show you guys that. I don't think I do. I might. Oh, yeah. Why don't you just stand in the corner, dude? Good shot. But we can get a wide open three with you. Holy cow. There's no way that every time I take it in, it's never foul. Oh, dude, this game sucks. It's a one point game. All right. All right. It's just we got to focus up here. And we got to not choke. We choke two big leads. I don't think they've ever taken the lead. Nope. That's what they're about to do. Yep. Take the lead. After the heat pickup, too. Back to Gasol. Oh, Gasol. Let's go up. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He is nice shot. Wade kicks to Bosch. Dishes it this oh, time. Oh, that was a walk. No oh, let's go. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. Good pass. Now, that's good. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. It's the way to respond after their run. Six on the shot clock. Bosch, the screen. Oh come on! And again, Miami with the triple. And since All right. The start of the this first one. Three point shot has just been there. Pointer is a major weapon for him right now in this quarter. Snell. Here's oh, Gasol. Gasol. Let's go, Gasol. That's what I'm talking Gasol about. Big plays. Oh, boss choked. Let's go. Outside Gibson. Hey, let's go, baby. I don't know why they are double teaming Aaron Brooks there. But I will take it. Oh, my God. Exactly. Even the top three point specialists in the league would probably catch heat for taking that shot. Let's go, baby. They didn't get. Were they trying to foul? I don't know what, but. They're both Noah and Tony Snellback. Let's go. It's looking. We just need one more stop. And we've got this. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. It's good. And now they trail by just four. Still, it's make it interesting. We just hit our free throws and we win. It certainly is. I mean, he just doesn't have the size game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. MVP. What? Dude, Butler has missed like four free throws this game. And the second of two is good. All right, guys, I'm going to keep this outro short. Uh, you can just look at the stats if you want to here. We missed six free throws, but I don't know. I mean, we were able to out-rebound them, which was big. And uh, I'll just flip through if you guys want to pause the video. There. And then Jimmy Butler, uh, Pau Gasol played very well for us today. You know, this was the first time. I mean, he didn't grab rebounds. There were only six, but it was more of a team effort rebounding. But 10 of 14 shooting. Very happy about that. Brooks played pretty well, I'd say. <laughs> Noah scored double figures. So, I mean, this, this was a good team effort with Jimmy Butler. You know, just doing what he does usually. But, anyways, guys, uh, got the victory. Next episode will be All-Star Break if you guys want to see it. And, uh, yep, thanks, guys. I'll see you guys next time.